Hello guys, I'm in place here, I'm um, NM here guys, and we are doing an episode of the Aston Villa Cream Mode here, and um, obviously Aston Villa Cream Mode, our final Cream Mode of this year guys, as you do see we start off with our, um, our Norwich game here guys, in the Capital One Cup here, as you do see the score lines under there, um, I did even long time to get off here guys, but we did go in, and it, I did try and change up my second team, try and get a second team out there, just so I have like my second team basically, and we'll go out in these cup competitions and do well. <laughs> So we're starting with our um, goalkeeper being obviously changed, not changed at all. We are bringing in Senderos and Baker at the back. Then right back we're bringing in Bakuna. Left back we're bringing in Luna. Left midfield we're bringing in Jesse Rodriguez, I do believe, guys. Um, yeah, Cam, um, CDM we're bringing in Sanchez, obviously. C um, center midfield we're bringing in, in Zogbia, but I do bring on Westwood because he gets injured later in the episode in Zogbia. Then we have AU up front and I bring in a bungle hole as well, guys. So that's my second team. For this official game, guys, um, coming up against Norwich, guys, I'm not going to play in the cup competitions, you know, guys, because you want to get um, through this first series, first season really, really quickly and stuff like that, and um, basically trying to do that. Yeah, guys, so we start off here against Norwich. We do a lot of place the players, obviously, guys, because we've kind of got to do that here, guys. We do start um, simming up the warm up this game here. You see Norwich are a decent side. I, they are still in the Premier League. Remember, I put them in the Premier League, guys, so... Again, we do win 2-1. Good goal from Melo. And I do believe on Bongo Hall there. So we have a 7-month injury to Guy, which is really pissing and annoying. Aston Villa two. He's my best Norwich CDM, guys. Really, really, really annoyed about that. But anyway, we do advance here forward. As we do get into our... Um, is that, I think it's only one game in this episode. Do correct me if I'm wrong. One ep game in this episode, I think it is. One game. Yeah, one game. And it is Arsenal. So again, we are trying to get um, through, guys. But we will have... Um, Manchester City are at home. We will be in next October. Um, in the not next episode, Portland. our next episode after that will be in October. Perhaps so again, it's been quite a long series so far, guys. And obviously, I want to try and boost up going quick in this series. But anyway, we had to go to here. Stoke Stoke Grant. I'm going to try and choose my second team and try and get um, a good one in this game because I'm hoping to get victory here against Stoke Grant. And we do have obviously. Um, Westwood coming into the team today for um, Sanchez, who's now on my first team because Guy Gay's injury. So again, we come in against Thomas Grants here. We're going to place the players for now, guys. Going into this one, um, hoping that my team can actually do well and hopefully win because I really, really want to see. Let's do well and get far here, guys, as we are coming in Summer Grants. It's a good 2 0 win there. Very, very good win there. Hopefully, try and do better there, but we did get the win. Which is good to see there, guys. We do go into this game against Arsenal here, which will be the game, the played game of this episode here, guys. Against the Gooners. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, we come up against Gooner, guys. So, we are bringing, um, I think I did bring in um, Dushan for this game. Give the young lad a wee run out and see how he would do. He's quite quick, guys. So, I thought, you know what? If he's quite quick. He's good enough. Let's just put him out of the team and see if he, how does he, how good he does. Oh well, um, against people like Giroud and Sandy Cazola and Sanchez and that lot, guys. So we tried to get into this game here. I'm still having injuries. I'm, I forgot to do this, guys. So I did bring people like Maynard onto the bench. Baker on a bump. Baker into the first team or a bump. Baker on the bench and uh, left all these players on the bench and stuff like that, guys. So. Yeah, so this series has been an alright one, guys. I want to talk about what's planned to do for your 16 start of it. Um, I'm planning to do a Road to Glory crew mode, guys. I am planning to do a Road to Glory crew mode or some sort like that. Road to Glory starts off, guys, and then probably doing a series of Everton or something like that as well. As we do start off against Aston, Aston Villa versus Arsenal here. Um, very, very big one here at Villa Park. Hopefully we can get a good win against the Gunners here. Um, as you see there, guys, had a great start to the season. We are in fourth place. Probably a nil-nil. After having a disappointing start, guys. Um, yeah, disappointing to say the least, guys. But we have got back up to where we are, guys. And we are doing pretty well here as we do take on Arsenal here at, um, at Villa Park here. Arsenal fans ready and warmed up. We have um, got a decent team out. Arsenal have got a decent team out. So we're hoping we can get the victory here against this Arsenal team and do very well, guys. So Arsenal not having Th Thomas Rosinski as their captain anyway, guys. I do like to show these... Um, the Villa screens and stuff like that start off well our team guys are Nets, Brad, Guzan our back fours Mika Richards John Dushan um, Arnas Okor and John Minivy in midfield it's Sanchez Salvio Vertut and Grealish and up front is Castillo instead yeah we're going with nothing up there guys we have got AU Adam Traore and also Bongo on the bench 
since we um, have Traore, Annabelle and on the bench just for that extra pace. Arsenal's team in net is Ospina back for um, Debussy, um, Chambers, Gabriel, Monreal, uh, no, Monreal, yeah. In the midfield they have Flamini, Krasinski um, and Ramsey. Up front they have Alex, obviously Chamberlain as well back and Sanchez. Peter Cech not starting in their team which is pretty shocking to see guys. I thought he would be getting their team. But he is not our guy. So, John Vertut having an absolute banger guys. He scores a couple of bangers in this one. Let's do kick off this game here. So, Rosicki obviously gets the ball there guys. So I did, um, see as Welbeck gets a chance here. Welbeck runs from my defenders ragged. Pass it into obviously Chamberlain who hits it right at Guzan. Guzan forcing Again, making a great double save there. Back to Rosicki and blocked by there. Okur. We have Gested running in the box now. It's Gested. It's a shot off the crossbar there. We do try and get the header, but it's epically failed away there. Sorry about the glitchiness in that bit. Um, these um, footage guys. So anyway, here guys, we did have the shot here. Um, the ball taken from the throw in, passed away here. Back to Vertut. Vertut sides. I'll have a long shot. And oh my goodness, Jordan Vertut. I'll tell you now, guys. He had a stun of a game. He uh, he had a blind of a game today. Bergen gives us the lead here with an absolute rocket, guys. An absolute rocket against it, Arsenal here. See, so picks up the ball here, guys. Has one touch and bangs it in that bottom corner. Arsenal should have closed down quick enough. Anyway, on our little French midfielder, but he does get a fantastic goal there to give us a good one nil lead after. I just keep on, I guys, I just could, I just kept on identically watching this because it was just such a good goal. What a goal! from our French midfielder who gets the goal there um, very very good goal there so Sanchez gets the ball now Sanchez passes it into Vertut again Vertut takes a couple of touches gets one of the defence finds shooting space and scores it 2-0 to Villa here fantastic goal from Jordan Vertut he is proving that he is an absolute star guys what performance he is having today what a bloody performance he is absolutely bossing it guys which again that just shows you how good he really is Jordan Vertut he bosses it some stages and he just he just bossed it today guys what a goal, goal absolute there. boss that one couple of touches round the arse defenders found shooting space and banged it and Ospina he at least should have died for it I'll tell you now guys he at least should have died for it anyway but a good 2-0 lead in this one guys as Welbeck gets the ball up here Welbeck oh Jesus Danny Welbeck has already said listen oh we've scored oh, listen you can do that he's basically said to John Vertut anything you can do I can take it and I can double it and simple as that Danny Welbeck gets the um, one back in for Arsenal here it's just an absolute day of long shots isn't it absolute day of long shots here at Villa Park because we do get the ball here away as Fabian Castillo now has a chance to run at that Arsenal back line he's got the pace he's got the pace over Gabriel here he has got past him Gabriel is trying to struggle but Gabriel does the wrong thing and slides in pass it into AU and AU heads it in the back of the net our little Garnet our big Ghanaian striker has just scored it and made it 3-1 to Villa obviously here guys and again being hugged by our little Colombian lad who goes round him really nicely as a very very good goal went in there Fant fantastic goal guys simple as that we are playing so well today Arsenal can keep up with our high pressing style and Castillo just, he's been great as well even though he didn't get a goal guy he's been he's been amazing Castillo has been one of the best players in this series so far and really, I really like Castillo, one of the players I haven't used this year on FIFA and I really like to use him there. And so we do have AU on the ball here, AU picks it up, pass it into Vertut here. Vertut with another long shot, Vertut just catch it, Ospina, just Ospina really, really just save himself there. So we do have a corner here from Salvio, Salvio decides to whip it in the box here. In comes our big Danishman, Jorso Kura, the captain, who just, just blows it away, guys. And obviously, guys, Ospina will take this goal kick. The full-time whistle will come here, guys. We do clear it away as we do get a good 3-1 victory. Fantastic victory here, guys. Only one game this episode. Like I said, sorry about that. But again, fantastic victory here for Villa. We have just been amazing, guys. We have been dominant. And again, that shows you how good we are, guys. We're more in the game here at Villa. We win games and a good, good, good... Good, good so game for us, guys. Really, really good game for us, and we've been doing very, 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 very well. And we did pick up a good, good, um, three-one victory here against Arsenal. Man of a match, John Vertut by an absolute mile. Nobody could bloody touch the lad. He's done so well. Arsenal. There's no really man of matches you could identify. I all had pretty shocking games to be honest with you. Well, um, I thought Welbeck did all right, but John Vertut, seriously, nobody could keep up with our French star. He was brilliant today, guys, and it just shows you how good Jean Vertut really is, guys. 
he has been an absolute legend for us, guys. So, all I've got to say is, guys, if we come to the end of this fight, I want to end of this Aston Villa Cream mode. Do like, Aston subscribe, three, and I'll see you guys later. One. Good bloody one. Fun. Stoke City, one. Everton, one. Chris. <laughs>